In this video, we will show you how the tap salt, phosphate buffer, and trace elements are made. All these components are the composition in the tap media which is used to grow the microalgae. To make tap salt, we need magnesium sulfate heptahydrate, calcium chloride dihydrate and ammonium chloride. Use the 250 ml shot bottle for this preparation. First, weight 3.2 grams of ammonium chloride and put it in the bottle. Next, weight 0.4 grams of calcium chloride dihydrate and add it into the bottle. Then, weight 0.8 grams of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate and put it into the bottle. Pour 200 milliliters of deionized water into the bottle. Shake the bottle to mix the compound. Take out and label the tap salt including the date. To prepare phosphate buffer, we need spatula, d-potassium hydrogen phosphate, potassium dehydrogen phosphate, 100 ml shot bottle, deionized water, and 100 ml measuring cylinder. Firstly, weight 28.8 grams of d-potassium hydrogen phosphate and pour into the bottle. Next, weight 14.4 grams of potassium dehydrogen phosphate and add into the bottle. Measure 100 milliliters of deionized water and pour into the bottle. Then, shake the bottle to mix all the compound. The color of phosphate buffer will be appeared cloudy, but later change to clear. Measure the pH of phosphate buffer using pH meter. The right pH for phosphate buffer is between 6.5 and 7.5. Take out the shot bottle from the autoclave machine, wait for it to cool down and label the bottle including the date. We need iron, ferrous sulfate heptahydrate, copper sulfate pentahydrate, zinc sulfate heptahydrate, manganese chloride tetrahydrate, boric acid, EDTA, potassium hydroxide, Ammonium molybdate, cobalt chloride hexahydrate. We need 1 liter shot bottle, modified shot bottle cap with filter, 150 milliliters beaker, 250 milliliters beaker, 100 milliliters measuring cylinder, weighing dish, filter paper, funnel, spatula. First, dilute 50 grams of EDTA in 250 milliliters of deionized water and put into the bottle.
Then dilute 22 grams of zinc sulfate heptahydrate in 100 milliliters of deionized water and add it into the bottle. Dilute 11.4 grams of boric acid in 200 milliliters of deionized water and pour it into the bottle. Dilute 5.06 grams of manganese chloride tetrahydrate in 50 milliliters of deionized water and put into the bottle. After that, dilute 1.61 grams of cobalt chloride hexahydrate in 50 milliliters deionized water and add it into the bottle. Dilute 1.57 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate in 50 milliliters deionized water and pour it into the bottle. Dilute 1.10 grams of ammonium molybdate in 50 milliliters deionized water and put it into the bottle. Lastly, dilute 4.99 grams of iron sulfate heptahydrate in 50 milliliters deionized water and add it into the bottle. Cover the filters on the modified cap with aluminium foil. Cover the tubes with aluminium foil. Loosen the cap. Place the trace elements, the modified cap, and the tubes into the autoclave bag. Seal the bag with the autoclave indicator tape. After that, autoclave at 121 Celsius, 15 minutes. Take out the bag from the autoclave carefully. Then, add 85 milliliters of 20% potassium hydroxide into the trace elements. Then top up the trace elements until reach 1 liter. Put the filter paper into the funnel.
pour the trace elements through the funnel. Uncover the modified cap and tubes. Install the tubes to the modified cap. Seal the trace elements with the cap. Then, set up the bottle to the aquarium blower for aeration process. We need phosphate solution. Try space. Tap salt. Trace elements. And acetic acid. First, weight 0.484 gram of tri space and put it into the bottle. Measure 5 milliliters of tap salt and pour it into the bottle. Pipette 0.075 milliliters phosphate solution. Then, pipette 0.2 milliliters trace elements into the bottle. Add 200 milliliters of water into the bottle. Then, prepare 200 microliter of acetic acid. Always remember to add the deionized water first before adding acetic acid. Shake the bottle. Measure the pH using the pH meter. Make sure the pH is between 6.5 and 7.5. To prepare tap media agar, we need to add this bit to agar, into tap media solution. First, add 7.5 grams of bukto agar into 200 milliliters tap media. Shake the bottle to mix the solution.
pour the tap agar solution into the petri dish. Let the agar cool and solidified.